limits this year and you're going to set new records financial limits mental limits psychological limits you're going to make more money this year than last year there is a god that with us the god that ben steel is with us el shaddai is with us this year the god of heaven has crossed over with you the god that can consume the enemy has crossed over with you we are not in this battle by ourselves i see lands being purchased i see homes being purchased eyes have not seen ears have not heard neither have it entered the heart of man the things i have ordained for you for 2020 unto you and hearken unto my words for these are not drunk as you suppose they are drunk but with a different type of spirit seeing it is the third hour of the day but this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel can you read verse 17 can we stand and read verse 17 for me one two three with a loud voice Libo Kosata. Come on. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. And <laughs> My God. You may be seated. So this prophet had a vision of the last days. That's why he said the devil has come too late. With his racism, with his division, trying to put division between the blacks and the white, I have a word for the devil. You have come too late. There's a prophecy already said that God going to pour out his spirit upon all all flesh i'm talking about the brown flesh the black flesh the chinese flesh come on help me here all flesh Amen. gonna get touched by the holy ghost Amen. you have come too late the scriptures cannot be broken and god gonna rapture a church that is beautiful that is united amen because the Holy Ghost has, has purged our heart. And the Holy Ghost has, has removed the, the things that want to divide us. So we can be a bride. That the Father can say, son, go and get your bride. Because Jesus is coming back for a clean bride. A spotless bride. A victorious bride. Not a bride that is divided because of the spirit of the world. So which means something will happen to us. That's why during the virus, I told before, there are four things that I believe is on God's agenda. One, the greatest shaking. Things shaked up the last couple of months. Because the Bible says everything in your life and in my life that can be shaken will be shaken. Everything that you put your trust in will be shaken. To reveal to you that there is more in you than flesh and blood. The shaking came to reveal to you that there are things in your life that cannot be shaken. I right. said the shaking came not to hurt you, but to reveal to you there are things in your spirit, there are things in your home, there are things in your marriage that cannot be shaken. I said a shaking came not to hurt you, but to reveal to you that your God is real. Hallelujah. And that's what's been happening. That's number two, the display of the bride of Christ. The display of the bride of Christ. Number three, then the rapture of the church. Number four, the great tribulation. Amen. And we share number, and number two, the display of his bride. Come on, shout the display of his bride. I want to share some truths with you about the bride of Christ. Jesus' bride. We are his bride. And every good husband will protect his bride. I'll protect their bride. 
And God is raising up a church that will flow with him. Say flow with him. God is raising up a people that would walk with him. That would love the way he loved. That would care the way he cares. And it's so opposite from the spirit of this world. So opposite. God, in the Old Testament, we see the prophets and the children of Israel. Even though, even though they weren't perfect, they flow with God. When the trumpet blow, they decide to move with God. They flow with God. So we see the prophets flow with God. The, the children of Israel flow with God. We see even Jesus in his earthly ministry. He flows with his father. He said, I, do, I, he said, I don't do nothing unless I first hear and see what the father is doing. There was, a, there was a synchronization between Jesus and his father. We also see in the book of Acts. There were a company of believers that flowed with God. Now the baton has been passed down to you and I. And we must continue that beautiful um, pattern of flowing with our father. And any, any spirits attempt to, I want to share with you how to recognize the, the strategies of Satan. At the end of the day, Satan doesn't really care about you. He just don't want you to get close to your God. Because, see, you become like those you hang around. I say you become like those you what? You hang around. So he want, he want us to hang around division, lies. Conspiracy, doubt, and fear, so we can become like that. But there's a different spirit in the earth called the Holy Ghost, and we are called to, to work with Him. We are called to, to flow with Him. That's why He's pouring out His Spirit and His last days. So I want to share with some things that the Lord started to show me that would happen to His, his bride. Number one is a church or a bride that will float together because of his beauty that is resting upon us. Come on, talk to me now. The last, the church is a church that flows together because of the beauty. Of Christ. Because Jesus is the head. And if he is beautiful. And we are his body. The, the head. The beauty of the head. Must affect the body. Now can you imagine. Stare at me for a second. If my head was on your head. That would be a freak show. Can you imagine the conversation at home. Can, I, I saw something today. I was at Costco, wearing my mask at Costco, minding my business. And I saw this muscular guy, his name is Brian, with a black head on his body. That's a freak show. But the head is beautiful. The head is full of wisdom. And all of the head must flow to the body. Come on, talk to me here. So in these last days, God is pouring out the spirit so the body can match the head. I said the body can grow up to look like the head. Therefore, I have to be mindful of anything trying to come into my life who want to deter me from the head. I'm going to stay focused on my lamb. I'm going to stay focused on Jesus. Because whatever I look at, going to begin to influence me. Who am I talking to here? The church is flown together because of the beauty. The spirit of God 
is, 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 is the one that's responsible to cause us to flow together. And you have to, you have to pay attention and look for the good in each other. Look for the good in your church. Look for the good in your marriage. Look for the good in your relationships. Because anybody could see something that is off. But if you keep your eyes on the good, that which was imperfect can be perfected by God's grace. Oh my God. So let's go to the book of Joel, chapter 2. Hallelujah. Joel chapter 2. My, my, my. Are you here? Are you flowing together? Yes. Not going to give into division and the spirit of this world. We have to make some decisions, though. I don't want CNN. I have to be positive. CNN is the most, it's called continue negative news. That's CNN. I have to listen to something that will motivate me to fulfill my dreams. So I don't want to listen to any preacher or read any books that want to question what God is, what God is doing in my life. Joel chapter 2 verse 1. Oh my God. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. Sound alarm on the holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord cometh. For it is nigh at hand. Read verse 2 for me. 1, 2, 3, go. A day of darkness and of gloominess. Uh-huh. A day of clouds and of thick darkness. Come on. So the Bible says, in the, thank you, in the midst of the darkness, in verse 2, in the midst of the confusion, there will be a people rise out of that confusion. Amen. Then tell us exactly about these people. He said, a fire devour before them and behind them, come on, and a flame, a flame burneth. And the land is, is the garden of Eden before them. And behind them is a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing, come on. Yea, and nothing shall escape this people. What will cause this to happen? The beauty of the Lord. The glory of the Lord. And it said, verse 4, the appearance of them is the appearance of horses and horsemen. Um, so shall they run. Oh my God. Read for me verse 5. One, two, three, go. Uh huh. Yes. My God. Mm hmm. A strong people. A strong people. Verse 7. They shall run like mighty men. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the walls like men of war. Oh my God. And they shall march everyone in his ways. And they shall not break their ranks. There's a flowing together. The body of Christ flowing together. We're going to detect. When, when was the sickness? We heal the sick. We lift the hurting people. We, we restore cities. We cannot wait for the government. The church is called to restore wasted cities. Amen. Therefore, you cannot be broke. You must get your money. Amen. Come on, don't be quiet on me now. So you can help restore the wasted city. No one shall break rank. Because there's a flowing together. I said there's a flowing together. And, and the reason why that is happening, because of the Holy Ghost. 
because of the Holy Ghost. Say, no one shall break their ranks, which mean you will know what you're called to do. You will know your assignment. Nothing's going to move you. You're gonna, if God put a business idea in your head, you're going to stay with it until it manifests. Because there's a grace on you to finish what God placed in your heart. Amen. Come on, talk to me here. Amen. The beauty of the church. We are flowing together because of this beauty. Hallelujah. Number two. Jesus' bride will be so beautiful... That it will demand attention. Will demand attention. Because of the beauty. There will be such beauty on the body of Christ. For example, if you're in a desert. And all of a sudden a red rose appear on the ground. That red rose will demand what? Attention. That's all that happened in the church in the last days, someone said, I don't know, Pastor, that's a very, um, can that be true? Well, I, I, I do believe the Bible more than people. The Bible promises that. The Bible says in the last days, these things are going to happen. I said, the Bible says in the last days, there'll be a beauty will come upon the church. Who am I talking to? Amen. Now, let's go on show you this here. Let's go to the book of Micah. Micah chapter, chapter 4 Verse 1. There will be such beauty comes on the church in the last days that people will want to be among us. Amen. The world would come under such darkness, such confusion, but when they see the church, when they see us not responding to racism, when they see us not responding to hatred, they'll they, they have to ask themselves a question. What caused you to walk in love in spite of the hatred? Why? There's a different spirit on my life. Come on, talk to me here. We are not of this world here. Every time... The U.S. election comes up every four years. Every four years, one dominant party in America bring out the race card. Every four years, they bring out that dumb Kool-Aid and expect us to drink it. As a black man, we are not going to drink that Kool-Aid any longer. Every four years, want to bring division. The blacks and the white. He said, Pastor, that, that, that's Canada. Come on. When America have the fever, the nation start to shake. Everything happened in America affect the rest of the world. I was watching a program in St. Kitts. St. Kitts. Okay. St. Kitts. There's no white people in St. Kitts. <laughs> what in the world we need to have Black Lives Matter marching in St. Kitts? <laughs> Mama didn't raise any fool. It's a spirit of division. It's confusion. And, the, and people get caught up with this nonsense. And, and the goal of it is to bring division. But it's too late. There's a prophecy. Already been declared. That God going to rapture a church. Full of glory. Full of power. Amen. And the, listen to me. The Bible says, can you please put up Joel chapter 2. No, Acts chapter 2 again. I want to show you what it says. Joel chapter 2. Acts chapter 2, I'm sorry. It 
He said, and it shall come to pass in the last days. We are in the last days. Says who? God. He said, I, I will pour out my spirit. And who? All. It didn't say some flesh. All flesh. It means everyone will be affected by this outpouring. The Holy Ghost is going to influence people. Going to, going to compel people to change their mind. I'm talking about racists going to fall in love with the Jesus, going to fall in love with the Holy Ghost, and that evil in their heart will vanish. Yeah. Who am I talking to here? You say, you say, I don't know if that's possible. Let me tell about my testimony. When I was 18 years old, I was at home in Vancouver, sitting on my couch, waiting for my girlfriend so we can go to a party. I wasn't praying. I wasn't reading the Bible. I was waiting and I heard, my son, why are you crying? That majestic voice knocked out fear from my heart. My point, when the Holy Ghost hit this earth, evil people will be converted. Amen. People like Saul of Tarsus will become apostles. I have faith. I believe what the Bible says. That this spirit is going to come upon all flesh. Let me tell you something. There was a man in Vernon. He was a racist man. He didn't like me. I don't know why he didn't like me. I mean, what's not to like about me? <laughs> he didn't like me at all. He said to his, his daughter, I don't like you go to that church. Don't like that guy. But why? I don't, I don't like him. I don't like him. <laughs> really? So, three years later, he developed cancer. And the cancer came around his neck. I think it was funny. The cancer was dark like my skin. Even blacker than my skin. I said that was interesting. So his daughter came to me. He's dying from cancer. He said, can you pray for my, for my dad? And I, I, to be honest with you, it's a part of me didn't want to pray for him. Don't look at me this way. So I said, that's fine, I'll pray for him. So I sent a handkerchief with love. Because faith can only operate, come on, when there's love. And this Holy Ghost is pouring out on all flesh. The black flesh, the Chinese flesh, the Holy Ghost is going to hit the nation. The Holy Ghost is going to hit the Muslim community. The Holy Ghost is going to hit the Jewish community. There are millions of Muslims going to get saved because the Holy Ghost is going to come upon them. Because the Bible said, in the last days, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. All flesh. It didn't say some flesh. It didn't say North American flesh. Or Canadian flesh. It said all flesh. Listen to me. The bride of the devil will not be bigger than the bride of Jesus. I released the handkerchief. I said even though he doesn't like me. But my God love him. Put it under his couch. Wait, his rocking chair, where he would rock in the morning and have his coffee. And two weeks later, that, that, that black thing on his neck started to change. And that man was completely healed from cancer. That's the Holy Ghost I'm talking about. This is the Holy Ghost that God said he's going to pour out upon all flesh. Amen. When he was healed, the daughter pulled the handkerchief out. He said, Papa... My pastor pray for you. And that man start to cry. Big old tears. He said, can I see your pastor? I, I drove to Vernon and we hug. He said, please forgive me. I don't know why I didn't like you. I said, that's okay. It was just the devil. But now you're born again. The same God in you is the same God in me. Come on. And he passed away. And guess what? I did the funeral service. 
this Holy Ghost is been pouring out on all flesh. A number of years ago, I was in Uganda, in a town called Ginger, in Uganda. And I was, Apostle Saul's preached in the morning time and evangelism. And I went out with a team. And I went into a Muslim school. Oh, I didn't see them as Muslim. I see them as people who need Jesus. Amen. And I went to the Muslim school. And I saw a girl walking like this. And the Holy Ghost said, that's your target. That's your love target. I walk over to her. I said, sweetheart, can I pray for you? She was so sweet. He said, yes, mister. Yes, mister. I grabbed the leg that was short. I said, in the name of Jesus. And the leg grew right out. Listen to me. No exaggeration. The entire Muslim school accept Christ that very day. And I came back. I came. I'm telling you, the, 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 the student body, the teachers, the principals, all get saved. Why? The Holy Ghost is being poured out. Come on. Upon all flesh. So I came back to the Apostle Charles about it. I was so excited. And I heard this noise. This noise. Like, Jesus, Jesus. I said, what's that noise? The whole student body came to the crusade with the teachers. I couldn't do that. But it's the Holy Ghost. Because he, he had to fulfill the scripture. That all flesh shall see. All flesh shall experience the glory of God. Say all flesh. So now you see what the devil is trying to do. Trying to divide the races. But it's come too late. <laughs> because the Holy Ghost already said this will happen in the last days. That I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. My God. I say my God. There will be a beauty that comes upon living faith. And the churches in this region. That will demand attraction. No longer people look down at the church. Today you mentioned church. And there is a bit of a, almost a curse word attached to the church. But those days are over. There is a beauty that is coming upon the bride of Christ. Come on, talk to me now. Let's go back to Micah. Micah chapter 1. Look at this here. But in the last days, say, say, say the last days. Last day. It shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established in the top of the what? The mountains. And it shall be exalted above the hills. Come on. And people, whoo, people, come on, people shall flow unto it. It will be the most attractive group of people on the earth. Because you know, when the world is thirsty, the one that have the water is king. Come on, talk to me here. I said, when everybody is thirsty, the one that possessed the water to quench the thirst of the world is king. And God is beautifying us. He's making us attractive. I said, God is beautifying us. I said, he's making us attractive. Are you in this place here? Are you getting something? Satan's bride will not be more beautiful than the bride of Jesus. It's not possible. So therefore God will beautify his bride and pour the perfection of the husband and the bride. Now let's go again. Another scripture. And we're going to go to Zechariah. Zechariah chapter 8 verse 23.
That's in the Bible. You know, Zechariah is in the Bible. Zechariah chapter 8, verse what? 23. <laughs> Glory be to God. We did from verse 23. One, two, three, go. Huh. Uh huh. Ha! Ha! They will grab hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew. I'm a Jew, you know. I'm a spiritual Jew. Thus says the Lord of hosts in those days it shall come to pass. That ten men shall take hold out of all the language of the nations. Even take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew. Saying, saying. They will say this. They will say this. We will go with you. For we have heard that God is with you. The nations will say this. The nation will say this. Which means there must be something that is so beautiful for the nations to say that. The Jewish nation, the Muslim nation, the black nation, the white nation. Going to grab a hold of your skirt and say, hey, I'm coming to church with you. I heard God heal cancer. I'm coming to church with you. I heard God take care of his people. I'm coming to church with you because I heard there's a joy in the house of God. I don't believe in going to a bored, dead church. My God, if God is alive, sh manifest something. Well, today, today, let's turn to the book of Ecclesiastes. And we're going to talk about the reality of our God. That he is so real. I haven't experienced him as yet, but I heard he is real. Come on, get to know God. <laughs> it's amazing that when you, when you spend time with God, you, your intelligence increases. I'm telling you, when you spend time with God, your intelligence increases. I don't know about you. I, I, I have a problem with this virus thing. The virus is real, but I, do, I think it thing has been gr grossly exaggerated. Let me tell you why. Now, I find it very interesting that the homeless people in Las Vegas who still live on the street of Las Vegas don't have the virus. So the virus have some level of intelligence and said, don't go to Las Vegas where the homeless people are. Stay away from them. No one in Las Vegas died from the viruses yet. No one in Kelowna died from the viruses yet. But they, 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 they didn't, these folks didn't stay home. They live on the streets. Come on, we are not stupid. And then so we follow all the instruction. We locked in a house for three months. And then Black Lives Matter happened. Mama didn't raise any fool. I see people, come here, can I hold your hand? I want to make sure. I see people walking down the street without no mask, singing Kumbaya, marching by the thousand for a month now with no virus. Thank you. 
I see people in Holland by the thousand on the streets. So I heard that when the virus come in contact with black people now, he say, don't go there. Don't go there. Hey. <laughs> oh, come on. Do you understand this? And then they want us to believe this nonsense. I said, something is off here. Something is wrong with this picture. I mean, people, um, there's no one, no one in the virus is it. How come no one die? They told us also to, the virus is so smart. He, this virus know when it's six feet from you. <laughs> it can detect six feet. <laughs> but those folks, they're the closer than six feet. But the count, well, you know, it's different. It's different. No, the devil is a liar. No, the virus is real. So is the flu. But, but we have, I mean, they have destroyed the economy. Millions have claimed bankruptcy. Come on, come on. I think about this. And now they're saying they have a, they have a vaccine for the virus. But there's only one problem. The virus change every two seconds. So they don't know which virus, they don't know which vaccine to develop because it keeps changing. <laughs> Mama didn't raise any fool. No, I decide there's a mask I'm going to wear, a mask I'm going to wear. I'm, I'm going to look like a terrorist around here. Will I? I'm a mouth. Who is that? It's a parcel. Hey, no, not, not that one. <laughs> I'm, but I just want you to understand. It, the virus is real, but it's grossly exaggerated. Are you following me here? It was a real virus. But it, it, I find I'm concerned about the, the level of intelligence of this virus. It stops when you want to stop. It locates certain people. Certain race of people. I mean, think of Seattle. There are thousands of people in Seattle right now. Outside in Seattle. Thousands. And no one has the virus. No one has the viruses yet. They say, well, something happened. Where the virus don't go there. <laughs> the virus said, we can't go there. Now something is off. What do you think anyway? Something is off. It's called the devil. But God is beautifying the church. There's one thing that really blessed me about this isolation. Is how much I was able to dig into the word. It drive me into the word. It drive me into prayer. Come on, talk to me here. Now, now don't, don't leave here and say, Pastor, say the virus doesn't exist. It's, it's existed. But I think it was gross exaggerated for, to promote agenda. Because if you can divide the people, you can conquer the people. But Jesus is gathering his bride. Hallelujah. I said Jesus is, is gathering his bride and the beauty of the head is now manifesting in the body. Where people you know, desire, have a desire to be with the church. Can you read again the, the, the scripture in Zechariah? I want to bring out one last point before we close. Oh, glory be to God. Thus says the Lord of hosts. In those days, in those days, which is the last days, it shall come to pass that ten men, ten men, ten men shall, shall take hold of him that is, that is of a Jew. Uh, sorry, out of language of all nations, even take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, saying, we will go with you. Hallelujah. 
For we have heard. <laughs> we have heard something. We have heard something in the midst of our pain. That God is with his people. We have heard a, a sound that there is hope with a people that is different. They sing different. They speak in a funny language. They call it tongues. But I have to go there. Because my pain is so real. I need some relief from this pain. And the Bible said 10 people out of nations will get a hold of you. And said I'm coming with you. Not because of the preaching. Not because of the worship. But because they have heard that God is with his people. Come on, let's stand on our feet. I'm done. They have heard that God is with his people. If you believe God is with it, come on, give him a big shout. If you believe that God is with you. Oh, Father, we thank you. To purchase your complete copy of this life-changing message or other messages from Apostle Everton Weeks, visit our online store at mlmi.org. That's mlmi.org. Or by phone at 1-250-763-2993. Come join us live, Kelowna, BC, Canada, or any of our church locations. And remember, life without purpose is just an experience.